Hey everyone, I figured since everybody's been asking about my aerial collection that I would show... Wait, no, nobody's asked about my aerial collection. I just really wanted to show it off. So, here we go. Okay, so first up is aerial number 27. I love her. And no, I'm not a bad collector. I just... She was my first one, and we hadn't really gotten into collecting things very much. And, well, she was my first one. I was going to open it because I love it. But, yes, Ariel 27. Okay, next up we have number 68, which is the Hipster Ariel. She has a bad case of the RBF, um, but she's got her sparkly fin and her flower in her hair, and she's beautiful, and I love her. We... As soon as we saw this one, I had to have it just because, I don't know, it just felt like me. <laughs> so, I love this one too. Hipster Ariel. Next we have 146, which is the blue dress Ariel. She, this is her outfit for whenever they got to go explore the town. And it was one of my favorite, well, not my absolute favorite, but one of my favorite parts of the movie. Um, she's even got the little blue bow. I love how they made the movie scenes come out like with the outfit and they even put the detail of the bow and things like that. So I thought that was really special. So this one is 220. It actually has three different versions. Um, we just realized that we don't have the middle version. But so this is the original one. Then this is the Hot Topic exclusive, which is the translucent dress. And then the one that we don't have, which we are going to be looking out for, is um, it's sort of in between. It's the regular solid pink dress, but it's sparkly. So it's just not translucent, but we're going to end up with that one too. <laughs> okay, number 231 is the Ursula Diamond Pop. It's also a Hot Topic exclusive. Um, I love how they did the, the diamond pops because it just sort of brings out some of my favorite characters in special moments in the movie. This one happens to be toward the end whenever she's big and hateful and <laughs> has the trident and everything. Um, they've also made a couple other of this specific pop, but we'll show those on later on down the road. 236 is Sebastian. He, I wish that they would do more of Sebastian and Flounder because Flounder is my absolute favorite, but I love Sebastian. They, I wish that they would do more with the supporting characters. Um, but yeah, we have a tiny little Sebastian. <laughs> okay, so number 237 is my favorite. He's my Flounder. He may be a little guppy in the movie, but he's big guppy to me. No, he is definitely my favorite of the supporting characters. Um, and this is another one that has multiple to it. We have a Hot Topic exclusive, Diamond Flounder. I love him. He is my favorite. I'm so excited. Like I said, I love that they did the diamond of the characters, and I was really excited whenever they did the Diamond Flounder because... He's awesome. So as we were going through and figuring out the numbers and the list and the order and everything, we did realize that there were several that I don't have and most of them we are gonna be on the hunt for. Um, there's a regular Ursula, like without the Trident. I think she's number 28. And then there is a Ariel and Ursula uh, pack, which is I believe an SDCC exclusive. Um, but that thing is pretty rare. Whenever I've looked it up, it retails, well, not retails, but it goes online for like over $400. So the chances of me getting that is pretty slim. Okay. So moving on, I figured do some of the mystery minis and things of the odds and ends, keychains, things of that sort together because I didn't want to spend too much time on them. But I do love that they did like a Fossum and Jetsum, um, and the secondary characters, which I love how they made it 
in one of the movie pieces. There's several different aerials, a couple different keychains. We have another Ursula with the trident. This is from the Wreck-It Ralph Breaks the Internet movie. And then this is from the romance series. But yeah, so a couple of the little minis and mystery pops. Okay, so number 416 is another Hot Topic exclusive. It is the first of the movie moments. Um, I don't know if it would really be called a series, but one of the movie moments pops that they did. It's part of your world. And because I'm a horrible person and I don't throw a whole lot away, especially whenever they're this flippin' cute, um, this is the box that it came in. And I just, I love the idea that they had behind it, making it the treasure chest and everything. I thought that it was awesome. So I kept the box too. <laughs> okay, so up until this point, we hadn't seen very many Eric Pops at all. I think this was actually the first one. And this was actually a subscription box. I think it was the Treasures subscriptions or something like that. But it was before it came to Hot Topic. So this is one of when they got married. I love it. I love them all. I'm sad. Okay, so this is the beginning of the 30th anniversary. Um, and you can safely assume that... We got all of them. I'm not going to pull them all out of the box, but so you can see the ones that it comes with. And yeah, we definitely got them all. I even brought the box home. <laughs> okay, number 545 is a box lunch exclusive showing her super stylish outfit from Scuttle. One of my other favorites. I love the boxes that they made for these 30th anniversary ones. Maybe I'm just the sap. I don't know. But I love the creativity they put into it. And they made sure to get all the special moments. So thank you for that. This one is 563. It, she's got her little bag. This is where her and Flounder are on the ship. And they're getting... They found the Dingle Hopper. <laughs> this is another one of my favorites. I need to stop saying that because the whole movie is my favorite. I can't help it. I'm a bad person. Um... I also just realized 564 is the gown whenever she gets to go back and see him. Um, as she's coming out of the water, she's got the beautiful shiny gown. I have that. I just realized that I haven't picked it up at GameStop yet. So I need to make a trip. But yes, I do have that one as well. Okay, another one of the 30th anniversary set that we're working on. It is 565 Prince Eric. Um, I say that they need to they needed to make pops for him because he's sort of a main part of the movie. But yeah, he's got his little telescope and everything. It's really cute. I love the details that they put into these pops. So number 566 of the 30th edition or 30th anniversary series is Scuttle. One of my other favorites. Um, he's holding the dingle hopper. <laughs> I love it. But yes, 566 Scuttle. So number 567 is Chef Louie. And if you look really closely back here, it's got <laughs> Sebastian. I'm trying to turn it enough that you can see. But it's got the lettuce and the Sebastian. Whenever he goes, ew, <laughs> sex in. It was, I laughed so hard. I still love this part. I love it all. I need to stop. I have issues. But yes, another 30th edition, or 30th anniversary, Chef Louie and Sebastian. 568 is Ursula and Flossum and Jetsam, which again, they don't get a whole lot of stuff about them, but I love that they did make one with Ursula all together. Um, this is also a D23 exclusive. It's the same thing, it's just metallic. So I thought that was really cool that they made some of metallic. So 546 is a Target, Target exclusive and it's another movie moment. This is Kiss the Girl and this is also one that has the most characters all in it at the same time because you've got Ariel, Eric, Sebastian, and Flounder. But 
Uh, this is another one I love that they put, I don't know, they just made it pretty on the box. So, another one that I do love. All right, so, um, I guess this one's pretty well self-explanatory, but it's number 569, and it is a big one. It is a 10-inch pop, and it also glows in the dark. It is Ursula, and I figure you could probably tell which part of the movie this comes from. Um, but yeah, so this thing is huge. It definitely shocked me to see the size of it. It is like the size of half of me, which isn't saying much, but for a pop, it's pretty big. <laughs> but yeah, so 569 is the 10 inch Ursula pop from the end of the movie whenever she's going at the shipwreck and shooting them with the lady. It's a, uh, yeah, 569. Okay, y'all, so number 570 of the 30th anniversary is one that is very, very, probably the most special to me. It's King Trident. Um, there you can see a little bit better of what it looks like. It is, I'm pretty sure that this is at the end of the movie whenever they got married and he rose up and did the rainbow and everything, which is very special to me because I used to always watch this movie with my dad. So I'm a daddy's girl and this is Ariel's daddy. So it's a thing, but yeah, so we have King Trident. I don't know if you can see it all the way in there. 570. Okay, so for you, those of y'all that stuck through me and suffered through all of my sappiness and my sadness of my Little Mermaid, um, this was just my Funko stuff. If you want to see more, I definitely have a lot more. I've got animation pictures and dresses and shirts and the whole shebang. But yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out and looking at all of my pops. See you later.